Hey guys, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. I hope you're well and ready to dive on in into a rather peculiar video. With the Olympics coming up and International Tiger Day approaching, I thought why not combine these two into one video in which we are gonna look at what five Olympic sports I think tigers would be most excellent at and probably get the gold medal. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. First up, I thought because I'm actually in the river now, we should talk about the 100 meter freestyle. As a former swimmer myself, I gotta say I'm biased towards the swimming events. But you may be thinking, good golly gee, would tigers really be good at swimming? Well, it turns out they are in fact excellent swimmers. It helps also that they have partially webbed toes. But tigers can easily cross rivers and lakes that are five miles wide. In fact, specifically, the Bengal tiger subspecies, who live in the Sunderbarns National Park, are frequently seen swimming between islands. Isn't that amazing? They're also known to be quite cheeky and clever when hunting down prey to lead it towards water, in which makes the prey a bit more vulnerable and is the perfect opportunity for the tiger to strike. Now, with regards to humans, well, the 100 meter freestyle Olympic record is currently held by Eamon Sullivan of Australia, in which in the 2008 Beijing Olympics, he did this in an impressive 47.05 seconds. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't think the tiger can swim it that fast, but they certainly are great swimmers, and I think they'd be rather successful in the 100 meter freestyle. The next sport that I think tigers would do quite excellent in in the Olympics would be weightlifting. Now, weightlifting seems a bit out there, but I thought I'd throw a shout out to the Olympic record in the over 75 kilogram category for snatch weightlifting. This is currently held by Tatiana Kashrina of Russia, who in the 2012 Olympics here in London managed to weightlift 151 kilograms. To put that in perspective, an adult male Sumatran tiger may weigh up to 120 kilograms. So she is one heavy lifter, quite literally. But in terms of tigers competing in the weightlifting sport, their bite has a force of a thousand pounds and they also drag their prey to eat it elsewhere, so they're probably pretty good at lifting weights, wouldn't you say? Now the next event would be the standing long jump. Now this is a bit different from the modern track and field events because they get a bit of a head start. However, the standing long jump event used to take place between 1900 and 1912, in which Ray Erwe of the USA holds the records. In fact, he dominated three of the four times this event was held with a whopping record of 3.47 meters jumping from standing outwards in 1904. Isn't that nuts? But could tigers do something similar? Well, it turns out tigers' hind legs are actually longer than their front ones. This helps them from a standing position to leap up to 10 meters in length. So I'm pretty sure they would definitely dominate this standing long jump and for sure get the gold medal. As if their distance wasn't enough, their paws are actually padded. So that way when they do land, they'll land quietly and most definitely probably stick their landing. The next sport that I think tigers would rock in the Olympics is basketball. <laughs> That's right, this one's a bit different. And of course, Tony the tiger comes to mind because he's great and he too, plays basketball, but to help tigers run across the court, they have a reduced size clavicle or neck bone. This allows them to get a greater stride because there is a wider range of motion that they can do. But I know what you're thinking, basketball involves a ball. How could a ball be linked with tigers? Well, in zoological collections, a lot of them actually use boomer balls to enrich a lot of different species of animals, but tigers are one such example. These boomer balls are really heavy duty and they need to be because the tigers, as we saw, have an impressive bite. But speaking of bite, did you know that tigers have fewer teeth than dogs? And a lot of other carnivores actually. Tigers have 30 teeth, whereas dogs have 42. But what they lack in quantity, they make up for in size. They have the largest canines of all the big cats that can get up to three inches in length. And it's these canines that have an extra special superpower, if you will. They have pressure sensing nerves that allow them to find the location of where they need to bite their prey in order to sever their neck. 
But back to these boomer balls, there's a lot of different ways that they are used. Rather, hanging, so then the tiger can jump at them, or rolling them around. Sometimes keepers even put different scents inside of them to simulate their olfactory response, like perfume, cinnamon, a whole host of smells. So I think they probably would be all right at basketball, given, of course, that the basketball in question was a boomer ball, because they're quite hefty, where the tiger would probably destroy the basketball just by looking at it, really. They wouldn't even need to bite it. They're that powerful. Actually, no, they probably would need to just stop it. But anyways, now if you've never heard of speed climbing, it's an impressive sport in which two climbers race to the top, quite literally, of a 15 meter foot wall. Whoa. But would tigers really be good at that? Well, for this fifth and final sport that I think tigers would rock at the Olympics, I think they certainly would. While new to the Olympics, there are current world records in place. Ulana Kapalina of Russia holds the women's record with climbing a 15 meter wall in just 6.964 seconds, where Vedrik Leonardo of Indonesia holds the record for men with 5.208 seconds. Whoa, that is so fast. Now, what makes tigers excellent climbers? Well, they have claws. Oh yes, these bad boys get up to three inches in length. Well, at least the four big claws that they have. They do have a fifth little claw called the dew claw, which is highly specialized. In fact, it's further back on the paw and doesn't even touch the ground. Its main purpose is to grasp onto prey and also help with climbing, which of course their other claws do too. And in fact, they're all retractable to help keep them nice and sharp. Because these claws are curved, they're great for in the moment grasping prey or climbing trees, like I've said. However, when it comes time to getting down, ooh, that's when the tigers may have some difficulty. They must either crawl down backwards or take a leap of faith. So what do you guys think? Which of the five Olympic sports that I presented here do you think tigers would get the gold medal? Or is there one that I missed out on? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, you might as well check out my real life superhero animal comparison videos because, well, I certainly think Olympians are real life superheroes. So you can click on that right here and I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Time for me to go cool off. Actually, oh, oh it feels so good. Can you see? It's scary dropping the water, but yeah. <laughs> I've been in water the whole time. It's great. Ooh. Ooh, don't want to get the mic wet. Ooh, ooh, ooh.